Hi, this is Bryce from GNS Metals and Refiners with a video of the first steps in our silver refining process. Upon receiving a silver refining batch from a customer, we log the weight into our computer system using our digital scale, which precisely records the weight of the batch to four decimal places. The batch we will be melting in this video is a little over 21 pounds of silver. With the push of a button, the weight is recorded in our system and the computer generates a refining order number and prints out two labels one of which we will affix to the refining container to enable us to track the batch throughout our entire process. For this silver, the next stop is the Tilt Kiln, which the GNS Metals team has affectionately nicknamed Bubba. We've preheated Bubba to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, and can now begin carefully adding the silver batch into the red hot crucible. 20 pounds of silver will take about a half hour to fully melt. To ensure full homogenization of the silver for our assay sample, we stir the molten silver several times before we take the sample with the glass vacuum tube. Ensuring the silver is homogenized is a critical step in taking an accurate sample. On contact with the molten silver, the thinner glass at the bottom of the tube melts and the vacuum sucks up the molten silver. Once cool, this will be the assay sample that we use to determine the purity of the refining batch. Having set the sample aside to cool, we double check the positioning of a preheated ingot mold to ensure we're safely pouring the molten silver. With the ingot mold in the correct location, we are finally ready to pour. At over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, this silver is red hot, and it will need some time to cool down and solidify before it can be safely removed from the mold. While the ingot cools, some silver is stuck to the sides of the crucible. We'll loosen this with a purpose-built steel tool while the crucible is still hot enough to make recovery easy. Even though the ingot is still red hot, it's solidified enough now that we can remove it from the mold. Now that it's empty again, the ingot mold provides the perfect place to deposit the recovered silver that we loosened from the sides of the crucible. Once the crucible has fully cooled, we'll process it further, recovering all of the silver, which we will then refine with the deposits we just reclaimed. Once 
Once all of the silver has been recovered and is cooled, we will weigh it and settle the refining batch based on the results from that assay sample. We'll store the ingot for now. Later, several ingots will be refined into pure silver for use in the manufacturing of refined, sterling, and argentium silver mill products.